Hey friends, this is Mavinas and uh, today we will be solving a very interesting question. So the question is clone a binary tree. This question was asked by many big tech companies and uh, you know if you are looking for a very good question on trees, so believe me it's a very good question. So uh, let me quickly read out the problem statement for you. So basically in this question we are having a special binary tree. So let me first tell you that why it is so special and how it is different from the general binary trees or the usual binary trees that we have. So basically uh, the thing is that uh, in, in general binary trees uh, for each and every node we have two pointers right so that is the left pointer and the right pointer okay uh, which basically says that you know every node uh, will you know contain maximum two children but in this particular special binary tree along with those left and right pointer we have an extra pointer that is the random pointer okay for each and every node so uh, the random pointer can point to any of the any one node in this particular binary tree for example if you will see this particular picture uh, you can see that you know there is a random pointer pointing from 5 to 6 right and that is the random pointer of 5 similarly the random pointer of 1 is basically connected with uh, 3 and it you know uh, any any uh, random pointer of any node can connect uh, can connect can be connected with any node in this particular binary tree so this is the special uh, property of this binary tree so uh, so what we have to do right here is we have to copy the entire structure okay and we need to create an another tree okay which is nothing but the copy of the original tree and we need to return the head of that newly created tree. So I hope the question is pretty much clear to you till this point. So uh, let's quickly look into some examples to understand it. So uh, guys, just think that uh, this is the example that we have. Okay, where you know this is the structure. Okay, and here the random pointer of five is basically connected with six. Okay, that's it. And what we uh, are wanting to do is that we need to create an another tree which is nothing but the copy of the original tree okay and we need to return the head of the newly created tree so that simply means that you know we cannot return the head of the you know input tree okay so um, uh, you know one can ask me that okay uh, it is true that we, you know we cannot return the head of the original tree but why it is not true okay but the answer is that uh, you know the copy and the original uh, you know are totally equal right but the difference is that the addresses of the node in that particular uh, you know newly created tree will definitely be going to you know different right let's say if i'll create a node with the value 6 right so that will be different that will have the different address than this particular 6 isn't it so I hope it is pretty much clear. Uh, if you have any any doubt till this point, guys, you can simply go ahead and ask me in the uh, comment section. Whatever you whatever doubt you have. So uh, let me quickly uh, tell you something. So guys, can I say it's very easy uh, for us to just create the same tree without actually connecting the random nodes. So what actually I'm saying is that I can create a I can create this tree, right? And uh, you can see that, you know, I haven't connected the random node of any node in this tree. So it's quite simple, right? How, uh, how it is so simple? So let me tell you, suppose that uh, we prefer to, you know, traverse in pre-order fashion, right? So in pre-order fashion, we first touch the data, then we, uh, you know, go ahead and traverse the, you know, or explore the left subtree. And after finishing of the left subtree, we go ahead and explore the right subtree. So uh, in that fashion, what I'll do is whenever I am, uh, you know, anywhere in this particular tree, let's say I'm right here. Okay. So uh, what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and create a new node with the same value. Okay. And uh, for its left and right, I'll, you know, recursively build this tree, right. By just, you know, creating new nodes. So uh, it's quite simple to just create this tree, but uh, in this newly created tree, so uh, we do not know what is the random node of each and every node okay because this is the copied tree of this original tree right so uh, 
uh, I can say that you know without looking at this original tree, we cannot even you know decide. We cannot even say that you know what is the random node of any any node in this particular tree. Okay, so that means let's say uh, I do not know that what is the random node of this five without looking at this original tree. So uh, so guys, just tell me that if I do know that what is the uh, copy of copy node of each each and every node in this particular original uh, tree. Will that help me to uh, you know just uh, to know that what is the random node of each and every uh, nodes in this particular newly created tree? So what I'm saying is that suppose that we have a map, right? In the map, uh, we have two entries. Okay. Uh, so let's say that this is the original node and these are the copied nodes. So uh, so see that I'm writing the nodes. Okay. It's not the value. Okay. So what, whatever nodes that I'm writing, uh, these are having different addresses in the memory location. So this is the original six and this is the copied six, okay, in the mapping. So uh, let's say I have uh, this mapping for each and every nodes in the tree, okay, and so on and so forth. Now suppose uh, that let's say three is basically connected with uh, one, okay, and we have another entry one, okay, and so on and so forth. Just consider anything, right? Now, uh, just tell me that can this mapping uh, help us to you know to know that what is the random node of any node in this particular newly created tree? So, guys, let's say that uh, the name of this map is MP. Now, can I say that if if uh, if I would want to know that what is the random node of node 3 right so can i say that if i'll just simply write mp of 3 is random so when i write mp of 3 so uh, can i say i am actually talking about the copied version of 3 that means when i'm saying that mp of 3 i'm talking about this 3 right this copied node 3 not the original node 3 right i'm talking about this copied node 3 so it's random will be equal to MP of three is random. So what is this three? This three is the original node, right? So can I say that it's random, it's random will be equal to uh, MP of it's random. So it's random is nothing but one. And we also know that what is the copied version of this one, okay? Uh, how can I know that what is the copied version of this one? So the map will help me to know that what is the copied version of this one. And I'll simply go ahead and connect three with one in the uh, newly created tree. So in this way, uh, we can connect the random node. Okay. So I hope uh, it is pretty much clear till this particular point. So uh, if you have any, any such doubt, guys, you can simply go ahead and ask me in the comment section. So uh, let's code it out. So, uh, but before actually, you know, uh, moving to discuss any, any further things, I like to first handle a very quick best condition. Let's say that we do not have any tree, right? So that means the head of the tree that is given to us is null. So in that case, we have to return null, right? Uh, it's not that important, but you know, it's quite uh, you know straightforward. So let's handle it, right? Perfect. So uh, right here, let's, you know, just declare our map. Okay. Which will be containing, uh, you know, the key value as the original versus the uh, newly created tree. Let's call it MP. Now, uh, let's first create the, you know, the copy tree without having the, uh, you know, the random pointers connected with anything, right? So let's say that we have a function which will get us the head of the, you know, copied tree, uh, which doesn't have any uh, random pointer connected with anything, right? So uh, let's say that the root of that particular copied tree is nothing but root, right? And the function is, let's say, you know, get uh, root of copy tree right and it will have the tree and let's say we have passed the mp right here 
So now let's quickly implement it, implement this function. Perfect. So uh, guys, as we are going to write a recursive function, we first have to handle some best condition. So uh, a very good best condition is that suppose there is no root or the root that I'm currently referring to is uh, null, right? In this case, we, uh, we can simply return null, right? Perfect. Now, uh, let's say that we have adopted the pre-order traversal to traverse the entire tree. So uh, in this case, what I'll do is uh, I'll simply store, uh, you know, C uh, as the, in, in the key portion, I have to store the original node, right? Which is the root, right? But in the value, what I'll have to do is I'll I'll have to create the new node, uh, which is having the same value of the uh, original node, right? I'll simply recursively, you know, build the left and right by simply traversing the subtrace, okay? And it's the last step I can simply return MP of root. So in this way, guys, we will have the root of the copied tree. Uh, and see, we haven't connected any random node of, uh, of the copied tree, right? But we cannot return directly uh, root uh, to this function because you know it is not the answer yet, right? So first of all, we have to you know connect the random nodes. So uh, let's say that this is the function which will, uh, you know, uh, just simply connect the random nodes of newly created tree. And what I'll do is I have to, let's say, uh, you know, I have the access to the random nodes of this original tree, right? So let's say I will traverse this tree, the original tree, and I'll pass the map right here, okay? And uh, whenever I see that, uh, you know, there is a node which is basically having a random pointer and I also know that where this particular random node is connected to. So uh, what I'll do is I'll simply look into this particular map and I'll simply connect uh, the random node of the copied node with its corresponding node, right? So what I'll do is let's quickly implement it. All right, perfect. So, uh, so let's quickly write the base condition. If there is no root, and since it's the void type, we'll simply go ahead and return back. Okay. Since I'm, uh, you know, just traversing the original tree, we uh, we have to access to the random node of any node in this particular tree, right? So what I'll do is I'll simply apply uh, the rule that we have, uh, you know, discussed in this example. So uh, what we will do is uh, we know that the random node of uh, the copied version of root will be equal to roots random, right? And uh, what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and connect the random node of uh, its subtrace, right? And it is done, guys. So uh, I hope it is pretty much clear to this particular point. And since uh, we just have connected the random nodes, so now uh, root is basically the root node of the copied tree. And in that tree, we also, we also have connected the random nodes of each and every node. So we can now simply return the root as the answer. So I hope uh, this is pretty much clear to you guys. So let's test it out quickly whether it is actually working or not. Uh, so for this example, it is saying the answer is one. Uh, we have successfully cloned it. So now let's submit it to see if the solution works or not. And it worked. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this particular video. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure uh, you have subscribed to this channel. Please give a thumbs up. And thank you guys, thank you for watching this video.